So in this study, we have found uh, broader roles for antibiotic therapy in sickle cell disease. In sickle cell disease, the red blood cells are rigid and it makes them prone to block blood vessels. And that's one major manifestation of the disease is vasoocclusion and the occurrence of painful crisis. Another problem that, that, that kids have, in particular with sickle cell disease, is they, they are susceptible to getting infections. So much so that kids in the first five years of age are given antibiotics every day to prevent infection and it, it works really well. The big question in the field is how we then treat episodes of vasoocclusion. And our group found nearly 15 years ago that a type of immune cell that are called neutrophils appear to be important in this disease. These cells fight infections normally. With sickle cell disease, they stick on the blood vessel. They interact with sickle red blood cells and that promotes the clogging of blood vessels and the obstruction of vessels. And what was very striking, when we looked at the neutrophils in these vessels, there were some that were very active and some others were completely inert. The active cells, in fact, were the older neutrophils. And what we found is that the microbes, bacteria in the body, are very important in educating the neutrophils, allowing them to age and become more active and more what we call pro-inflammatory. And so one dr dramatic experiment is that if you give antibiotics to sickle cell mice, uh, we could, with the antibiotics, you could deplete, of course, the bacteria, but also you improve, you reduce the number of aged neutrophils in the circulation, and that led to a very significant improvement in, uh, uh, in vasoocclusion models and also in lesions that these mice get in, in various organs. So that was very promising, uh, potentially, for for patients. And that's why in collaboration with Deepa Manwani at, at Montefiore, we've looked as well in the pediatric population as uh, two questions. One is whether the number of, of aged neutrophils were also increased in, in patients. And we found that indeed that was the case. Patients with sickle cell disease had uh, higher numbers of aged neutrophils in the circulation. And the second thing that was interesting is that the patients, that the kids that were on antibiotics in the first five years of life had lower numbers of neutrophils in the circulation. That's very promising for potential future studies that we're planning to look at uh, the role of antibiotics in the disease beyond uh, uh, treating infections. There are two important questions that need to be addressed. One is whether the antibiotics have a role in preventing vasoocclusive crisis. There's no data about the potential effect of antibiotics to prevent vasoocclusive crisis. All of these are, are blood and bone marrow is from here. And the second question is if we prolong antibiotic therapy beyond five years, there might be additional benefits for these patients to prevent sickle cell crisis and prevent potentially organ damage from these uh, vaso-occlusive crisis.